big holes on that on that drive. We'll look at the statistics later, but there are guys making great blocks. It's not just about these running backs. You have to be getting the job done up front. There were a couple really big holes as Cal started this drive deep in their own territory to get things going. Smith back deep. Grab this one at the 10. And unable to get the right corner this time. First down for Southern Utah. Sorensen, and here comes pressure. And he's sacked again. Bears are coming after him now. Third and 14. Draw play. And the Bears are ready, and they stuff Wilson. Look at that. Five guys in on that tackle. That's how you want to play defense. Just a simple draw play. When you have guys driving like DeAndre Coleman, driving the center right back into the pocket, it's tough to get that going. Mullins getting the high five on the sidelines. Big hit. Miller. Looking leg. Allen trying to find some room. And does. Spins his way across the 40, down near the 35. Ball came out, but it already hit the ground. Ball shifts. Maynard. Harper. To the 30. They dial up on third and eight. Maynard, open receiver, first down, Cal. Treggs gets in the act this afternoon. This time he stays back there. Good footwork by the quarterback that time. Throws it on time. It's a skinny post, a little bit shorter than the touchdown last week by Treggs, but basically the same route. Fella, right side, breaking tackles and getting to the end zone. I promise you that the wide receiver coach, Wes Chandler, is running down to hug Bryce Triggs right now. This is a simple toss, stretch, good block at the point of attack. But look down here, number one, the guy that just caught the ball, Bryce Triggs, he's the guy that gets him into the end zone. That's the difference. You said it already. These coaches emphasized it all week. Execution was there. Bears have picked up the pace in the second quarter. Pounds it through 17 3 Cal. 5.22 to go in the first half. So Fele, six. Fourth and short. Sorensen tried to get it himself. He'll get a little shove from the back. Didn't look like they got a clean exchange. He did not get it. Now, judging by both the line judges. He needed to get past the 45. That was like a rugby scrum. Yeah, that, that one didn't get going in the right direction for Southern Utah. Just didn't get off on the right spot. And the Bears hold on fourth down and short. It's all about pad level when it's fourth and short. And a lot of the Bears got underneath. Bears playing pretty good on defense right now. First down for the Bears. Allen lining up behind Maynard. Now they'll send him in motion. In the air on first down, and they'll throw it deep on in the direction of the All-American, and he'll make the catch at the 25.
He's wide open there. It was a zone coverage. He gets off the jam very quickly. Ball thrown very nicely to the outside. Safety not able to get over there. Bears back over the ball. And are going to keep it. Room left side, of the, down near the 15. It's just the read option for the quarterback there. He sees that outside defensive end or linebacker clamping down on that dive fake. He's going to keep it and run to the outside. Good execution. Second and 19 at the 20. Play action. Maynard, Allen in the open field, down to the 10. Motto steps it off. And a seven yard field goal. Makes it Bears. 20. Thunderbirds, three. Kowski, you've got, you've got a good memory. Up. Well, you know, picking all those great Cal players. Swords is chased, though. Now he's going to be able to set up and throw it to the end zone. And it'll be a penalty. Interference. Moala was back there, and he got interfered with. So that'll move it up 15, the difference, obviously, between college and pros. What do you think of that, Rick? Do you think college I like should... It should adopt a rule of, of spot of foul like the NFL? I or do think, you like the 15? I like the 15. I think the NFL should adopt the college rule. How come? It just seems more fair, you know, because a lot of guys will do that, just throw it up. Pass interference, number one of the defense. 15-yard penalty. The quarter will be extended for one untimed down. They also had almost a late hit. One of the defensive linemen from Cal taking a shot at Sorensen right at the end. Now you're much closer. Now you don't have to just throw it up. You can actually run a, a pass play. Untimed down. And why not? Southern Utah will call timeout. Timeout. Get Southern the Utah. Utah. Perfect play. Number two. That's a 30-second 30 30 timeout. Correction, Correction number, number three. three. Clancy Pendergast should go with a three-man rush round. here, drop eight into coverage. So what you want to do if you're a defensive back Alpha is you just want to be on, just start out the down on the line of scrimmage and play everything from back to front. Keep everything in front of you. Just be sure that you make the tackle. One of these, you know, Hail Mary, last-ditch plays that were working against the defense you run. I've had too many concussions. I can't remember. If it did happen, I can't remember. Sometimes guys remember one where, you know, it's still a thorn in the side. But Sorensen gets himself a little time. We'll get another shot. Jump ball tipped. And did they get it? No signal yet. The referees get together. It's a touchdown for the Thunderbirds. Cameron Morgan, another one of those six three receivers. That ball was tipped at its highest point by the defender from Cal. Yeah. What you want to do in that situation is knock it to the ground not tip it up this is an amazing catch by cameron morgan tip ball that looks good to me partner i mean foot down and the rest of it called on the field and they got together to discuss it was that it was a touchdown 